Oh, we're off. Right, um, a quick um, tutorial just to show the couple of new functions that I've added on the new VSS sequencer. We're now at 2.7 and I've added a glide function and a shuffle function. So we'll deal with glide first. Um, now, I've got it set up here with Monarch, which is a monophonic uh, instrument. So I've only assigned that to the main sequencer, so we'll only be using the main sequencer um, as opposed to the, including the two subsequencers. Right, distraction away. In order to make Monarch work with the glide function or portamento, um, you have to do a couple of assign uh, CC assignments. And so what we need to do is we need glide time, which is this here. That needs to be assigned to MIDI controller 5. Um, so we highlight time, we go to its um, properties window over here, highlight connect, controller, and we want to assign 5 for that. And also, we just switch, yeah, yeah, we need that set to 5. Um, and MIDI on, in on, of course. Right, yeah, or else it won't respond. Sorry, I couldn't remember there whether you needed to switch that on or not, but you do. Right, waffling aside, onwards. That's the time assigned. We also need to assign this switch from off to always. So that needs to be assigned to MIDI controller 65. Uh, assigned the same way, um, properties, uh, connect 65 MIDI in on and that should be you so we press play and we've just got a little sequence playing and so let's now the glide function per step is activated with these small circles here the little blue dot Oh, 
done. <laughs> Sipping my coffee, forgetting that I'm recording. Um, right, I think that's everything. I don't think that I did anything else new, but maybe I've probably forgotten about it. But that's the two, two uh, uh, major things I did. Um, right, I think that'll do. I should let you get going. Oh, uh, uh, just stop that. Uh, just before I go, a quick recap. And if you're trying to do this over to hardware sense, basically what I've got is when it's activated, it sends a MIDI 5 controller, which is the time that you've set there, and it sends a on command. When it reaches a glide off, it sends a time of zero. And... 65 for uh, is sent as off um, the reason I've done that is some synths um, don't have a, um, a on and off 65 um, access so they work by having time at zero i.e. off and time to whatever level you want for portamento on the um, Waldorf pulse works that way um, some it's a, it can be a devil to get it to work with other synths um, it's more what they how they respond, um, like the Turi um, stuff. Uh, I've not been able to make it work in using these at all, because the uh, the MIDI note gets triggered before the time obviously has been set on the glide. So um, basically, it doesn't it gets ignored. Um, anyway, that's enough of the failures. It works beautifully with. Um, blocks and it works fine with internal stuff and um, some external MIDI uh, it's a bit fiddly with um, that's the way it is I'm afraid or at least that's the way I've managed to think uh, the best I've managed to get it right I'm waffling again and it's time to say goodbye